Hi everyone, I'm Lolly. I am the editorial assistant at Professional Beauty and this is the second episode of PB London Talks. We'll shortly be joined by Sue Davies who is um, part of the Federation of Nail Professionals who are co-organising the nail competitions with us and she will be giving us some insight to what to expect. So I'll just add should hopefully join in a second but yeah the nail competitions are back for the second year hi sue how are you hi uh, hi lolly how are you doing? good to see you i'm good so yeah today is just talking about the uh, nail competitions and why it's such a good idea for nail techs to compete in competitions and how it can further their careers so do you want to just give us a bit of a brief overview of who you are and what you do yeah, so I'm Sue Davies. I am yeah, now industry veteran is how I quite often get referred to. Um, I've been around for a long time, been involved in competition for many, many years, and I'm currently deputy chair of the Federation of Now Professionals. And um, and yeah, we're working together with Professional Beauty to bring a slight update and change to um, how competitions are run. Yeah, and for any now that's thinking about entering a competition that they're not sure, how can entering a competition boost their career? So basically, any entering any competition is going to get you to address your um, skills and where you're at. So you have to be ready to address anything that needs um, updating in your skill base and challenging yourself to see if you can um, enhance what you do and just put yourself and just see where you fit within your peers, really, because you'll get ranked against everybody else that competes on the day. And it gives you a really, really good idea of where your skill level is and how you are working really really well within the industry and just building everything that you have learned on your training and just putting it into practice really and it just makes you practice at your highest level and if you win then 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 it takes you up different places as well so that if, if you do place and you get a first second or third if you particularly get a first quite often over the years this is where people you know I remember back in the day when Hazel, Jack, Hazel Dixon was competing and at competitions that I used to run with my old boss um, you know and Hazel started somewhere and Hazel has gone on to use all of those first places that she got um, to tremendous effect and look at her now you know it's, it can take you to really high places Kirsty Meakin used to compete under us and um, and so it can take you to really amazing places but you have to work hard and it's about consistency and making sure that you consistently compete and win and then you get noticed basically yeah and as a nail industry set what are your top tips for any nail uh, techs who are going to be competing especially if it's their first time um so really the most important thing is to make sure you've read the rules and make sure you understand what they are and if you're not sure ask um, there's never any silly questions when it comes to this because it's really really important that you uh, have every piece of information correct in your head so when you arrive on the day you have everything you need so making sure you have all the right kit making sure particularly that you have matching systems because you won't be allowed to compete if you don't have matching systems have matching systems and aren't working compliantly um, but just making sure you've looked at the score sheets making sure you understand what the judges are looking for because the score sheets indicate to the judges what they need to be looking at to make sure that they score everybody fairly consistently but you need to make sure you understand what it okay. I think I just lost it for a second then. Hello? Yeah, perfect. And um what do they need to bring if they're competing? If they're competing, they need to bring themselves. They need to have a suitable model, um, someone that has, you know, really good nail beds. There's, there is, there's many different views out there as to what the perfect nail bed is. And if you're in any of the competition groups, then please do ask um, other competitors that have been before you, because depending on what category you're in, that nail bed shape and length and width and so on is going to vary slightly. But ask other people for advice. Um, yeah, so make sure you've got a good model that they understand that what there is needed of them and make sure you bring your full kit, make sure you've got enough lamps, make sure you've got the right UV um, top coats that match your system, that you've got the right gel lamp that matches your system too um, and make sure that you've got enough um, just enough everything, enough files, make sure that you've got your buffing blocks if you're going to be doing competition now. You know, there's there's so much involved and making sure you have your kit that is available to you. Once it's all there, it has to be on the table. So make sure that you have everything you could possibly need to perform that perfect set of nails. And 
um, make sure yeah you've got enough colours to use. There, there's there's so many different. Honestly, this is 15 minutes is not enough <laughs> to go through <laughs> what what is needed. But basically, you just need to make sure you have your full kit. And that yeah. you just need to make it as least stressful for you on the day. And you don't want to be running around the show trying to find, um, you know, a file that is going to do what you need it to do on that day. That's the last thing you need to be doing. So just make sure everything is in your kit box. Yeah, it's definitely better to be over-prepared than under-prepared. Be definitely, over definitely. Yeah. <laughs> under-prepared is never good. And and the thing is, and it's, it's you know, it, everybody, no matter how much you try to prepare for it it is a stressful um time for most people that are competing and you know trying to make sure you have everything you know just go through pack your box up that a few days before and then you know reset yourself at your desk and make sure everything comes out of that box as you think it's going to because yeah. you know the amount of times you think you've got everything you know make sure you lay all of your labels are correct you know make sure that they're in english because the, the floor judges will be walking around to make sure that they can understand what's said on there so if you do use products um that, uh, that may not have um, full English um, ingredients and stuff on there, make sure that you do have something that works and that the judges can read in English because otherwise you could lose vital points on things like that. Yeah. And who can compete in this year's nail competition? Who can compete? So the competition is open to all nail professionals and in every category, nail professionals can compete. The only one that nail professionals can't compete in is the educator skills. That is there purely for educators and they have to provide um, evidence to show that they are educators. Um, and other than that, all of the categories are open to nail professionals. Some are also open to students that would have been um, in training or have trained and qualified within the last year. But anybody that is qualified over a year in every other category bar educator skills will be considered as a nail professional. So it's open to everybody. As I say, there's going to be, um, there'll be a, um, an overall student of the year, an overall nail professional of the year. And then the educator skills will be, um, the winner of that will be yeah, the ultimate educator, really, because that's going to be a bit of a challenge, that one. Yeah, that will be quite a title to walk away with, won't it, ultimately? <laughs> it is, uh, yeah, and for, yeah. Uh, competitions can you give us a sneak peek of any judges or categories that are new this year um yeah so we've got yeah so there's um categories we've got everything that's a new like the would normally be, be in competition so we have uv gel polish we've got um yeah all the competition liquid and powder uv um uv cured products we've opened it this year so that any product that could be cured in a uv lamp so that includes all of the aqua gel products um, which we had, we didn't have last time, so that's good. We also have um, a slight update. Last time we had bridal challenge um, and commercial nail art, and the commercial nail art didn't take place. So we've combined it and created something called the nail art challenge, which um, has a theme of like a seasonal, which would be spring summer. So that can be anything that. Um, relates to events or things that your clients may come into the salon asking for at this time of the year so it could be a holiday design it could be a bridal design it could be a mother's day design it could be anything that's going to happen over the next few months um, and you need to have a mood board for that that will be shown to the judges at the blind judging booth and um, and that is where you can show your nail art flair um, we've also got learner skill is back which we were we really really did love organizing this and doing this last time and we've adjusted it slightly because we know there are a few little technical hitches on the day so we've adjusted it slightly but learner skill is a is a amazing opportunity for you to get to see a demo by um one of our industry's leading educators and then bring it back into the competition floor and you have to replicate the design that they create and also do um, your own twist on it as well and all of the details yeah. are all on the rules and stuff for that as well. But there, so we have got a few exciting ones. We've got Instagram photographic, which is going to be um, off floor as always, but there's going to be an online judging on that, pre-judging on that by um, by your industry colleagues so that they will be shortlisted and then it will be judged um, live at the competition. Amazing. So all the, all the competitions will be judged at Professional Youth in London, which is taking place on yep. April 3rd, of course, at Excel London. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can register online now at professionalbeauty.co.uk. Any issues, please get in touch at info at professionalbeauty.co.uk or on our Facebook. And I believe you've also got a Facebook group for those. Yep, yeah, we have. If you just do a search for Federation of Now Professionals Professional Beauty Competition Group, um, and it is in all those long words because the FNP... Um, brings in lots of weird nursing people from america um, well not weird nursing people they're very lovely nursing people but they're not who want to be on our competition group so it is the whole word if you're going to do a search for it 
and um, yeah and in there we've got all of the score sheets rules and everything which are also available on the professional beauty website too um and we're just finalizing closing dates and everything for um for the off floor ones as well so that they for those to be sent into professional beauty amazing great well i'm looking yeah. forward to seeing you at the show and seeing what i know I can't wait. get some good nail in for myself as well yeah, I don't. Really? It, the thing is, it comes around so far. I can't believe we're only a few weeks away from it, and um, and it is. Yeah, it's going to be. I, we're hoping. You know, we had. It was a peculiar um, time, wasn't it, when we went there in October, and uh, we're hoping yeah. now all the restrictions are gone, um, that it is going to. It's going to come back even bigger and better because it was amazing back in October, but hopefully it's going to be. Yeah, much much bigger this time. Yeah, amazing. Can't wait. Thank you so much, Sue, and don't forget. That's to fine. Any professional beauty to register yeah. for your free ticket for PD London, 83rd and 4th. Thank you. Wonderful. That's fine. Thanks ever so much. See you, Lolly. Thanks, everybody.